everyone, in this series we're looking at how to add inputs into vMix production. An input is any element that you want to include into your vMix production. In this video, we're looking at the list input. In vMix, your inputs are added through the add input section, which is in the bottom left hand corner. Firstly, we'll need to click on add input. The list input allows you to create a list of files to be played within vMix. You can choose video, audio, and playlist files. Playlist or M3U files created in programs like VLC can be added and import all of those files into the list. This means you can bring in a pre-compiled selection of videos or audio straight into vMix through an M3U file. You can also use vMix to create and edit M3U files and export them. Now there's another function in vMix called playlist, but these are completely different from lists. A vMix playlist allows you to create a playlist from existing vMix inputs. A vMix list is an actual input that's playing from a list of files on your computer. In order to get started, we'll need to select list. And then we'll need to start adding some files by clicking add and then selecting some files and then open. Now you notice that all of these video files have been added to our list. If we wanted to add more files, we can click add. If we wanted to remove a file, we can select it and click remove. Or if we wanted to clear this list, we can just click clear. Now I'll show you how to add an existing M3U list. Click add and then select your M3U file and click open. You notice now that my list is now filled with all of the video files from my playlist. I can edit the list the same way that I would do with a single input. I can add more files, I can remove files and I can clear this list. Now there's a box here that says selected video is interlaced. So if we brought in a video that's interlaced, I can select it and then use the tick box. Now you notice that when I switch to the other ones, it doesn't tick, but when I've switched back to the one that I've selected, it will appear as interlaced. I can also shuffle the list by clicking the shuffle button. Once you're happy with the list, click OK. Now you can bring your list in just like any other input. Now, if you have video files, you can manipulate them the same way as you would with a single file with the scrubber along here, play, restart, However, we have some new buttons here. So this next and previous will move the file location down. So if we click next, it will move on to the next video and previous will go back to the um, previous video. Now you're also able to edit any of the lists by right clicking on any of the list inputs. Then if I wanna select another video from the list and play that, I can select it here. I can also edit the list by clicking edit items. Now the green arrow will show you which uh, video or file is currently active. To change the order of a file, just select it and use the arrows on the side to move it up and down. By unticking a file, it will be removed from the list, however it won't be deleted. It will appear greyed out when using the list input. To fully delete a file, select it and click remove. Now underneath the list you'll see some list behaviours. Automatically play next item means that once the item is finished, it will move on to the next one. Always play first item with transition means that the list will be restarted each time you transition. Selected video is interlaced will let you know that the video has previously been selected as interlaced. Now to add new files or lists, click add. Add new files or playlists. To edit a file name, select it and click edit. If you select one and then click remove, it's going to remove it from your list. Um, and then shuffle will again shuffle the order of them. Now export allows you to create an M3U file that you can use in future vMix productions or even with another program like VLC. Now to save the settings, just click close. So I'll just show you an example, like if we bring this, um, bring this video in, I decide to change it. I can select another video, like so. Uh, I can move it to the next one in the list. I can restart this video. I can move it to the next one. I can bring this back. And I can also edit it in the input section like we normally do. So I can change these here. I can play these and I can load up the particular video that I want and then go ahead and edit and that sort of thing through vMix. So that's how you use the list input in vMix. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. This video is current as of vMix 17, so there may be some changes in the future to lists, but keep your eye out for that. Thanks.